Aside from the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the biggest news stories to hit Washington over the last year was the arrival of the Asian giant hornets in our region. Now a new documentary recently featured the process of removing them in Washington state. And this morning we are talking to a scientist behind those efforts and we want to welcome Sven Spieschiger to the show this morning to tell us all about it. So good morning, Sven. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Happy to be here. Hey, so first and foremost, tell us about the role you play in this documentary and the removal of these hornets. Uh, sure, uh, I'm definitely uh, in some of the scenes, but uh, they focus on one of my employees, Dr. Chris Looney, and his efforts to trap and also uh, local beekeeper Ruthie Danielson, who is just an awesome role model for everybody involved and uh, the kind of help she does with outreach. And then also beekeeper Ted McFall, who uh, unfortunately, is one of the first people to have some of his honey beehives absolutely decimated by Asian giant hornet. And so it's uh, it's a pretty interesting look. Uh, the director chose to use like a, a horror genre uh, to um, <laughs> basically convey the experience we all went through together. But it really was uh, a group effort. And I, I have to say, I couldn't be prouder of my staff and uh, the folks from the general public who uh, basically just uh, gave up their time and, and uh, uh, just uh, really helped out with the effort overall. Uh, it really was a team effort and we couldn't have done it without them. And it's in, in the end, it, it ended up working out, but uh, it's unfortunately, it's probably just the beginning. There's probably more nests to find and destroy. So then I want to ask you, you had told us about, you know, off camera that the public's help really was so vital in this process. Can you tell us a little bit more about just some of the ways and the impacts that that that, uh, that had on these efforts to remove the hornets? Sure. So first of all, um, we don't have unlimited dollars to look all over the state. So uh, average folks from everywhere in Washington uh, decided to uh, spend their own dime hanging up traps and letting us know what was going on in their own backyard. And what that allowed us to do is to focus our um, our paid efforts in an area where we already knew we had a few detections. And just having that peace of mind uh, was number one. But um, the the second thing is, uh, the thing that got us to the area where the nest was, was actually a public report. Uh, a citizen had uh, found them basically buzzing around his eaves, uh, called us in. Uh, Chris Looney went up and met with them, netted one that day. We we had a little trouble with our first bit of technology, but uh, eventually we ended up trapping some more in the area. We were able to tie a radio tag to one and uh, follow them through the woods back to their nest. That was pretty exciting. It's, it's how we drew it on paper, but um, I guess we, in some ways, we never thought it would work, but it did. And uh, I think we're going to be much better at it next year and hopefully Hopefully uh, we don't find any more nests, but if we do, uh, we'll be ready to go. I just think it's amazing the work that you guys have been doing, able to, again, attach the tracker device to these hornets. What's something surprising that the public might not know about these hornets and the removal of them here in Washington State? Something surprising? That, well, uh, I think the most surprising thing to us is we had all basically watched a bunch of removals being done overseas and just how aggressive the hornets are. Uh, they will generally, while defending their nests, pour out and just rain down hundreds of stings on those threatening their nest. Oh. In, in our instance, um, ours were very docile. Uh, no, one, no one hornet even attempted to sting anybody on our crew as even as we were, uh, you know, eradicating the nest and disassembling it later. So I, I think that's the big surprise to us. And although the, the funky spacesuits look really cool, um, <laughs> you know, it turns out we didn't actually need them that day, but I, I don't think I would still ever attempt to uh, approach a nest without one on in the future. And Sven, of course, people that get a chance to watch this documentary, hopefully we won't have to deal with it as much as sort of that initial uh, arrival of the Hornets. But if there's something that anyone who does eventually watch this documentary takes away from it in the process of moving forward, keeping these Hornets away, what's something you want the public to know? Oh, I want you to know that it was, um, you'll, you'll see a gentleman getting a tattoo at the end. That, that is the homeowner who turned in the first Hornet nest in the U.S., Take that chance. Uh, even if we tell you, no, that's just a native insect, please, if you think you've seen it, uh, 
call it in and certainly report it either to local extension, but uh, more importantly, I, I say go to our website, uh, which is, um, you know, agr.wa.gov slash hornets, and you can report a uh, possible sighting there because really unless people do that, uh, you're, you're relying on, uh, you know, four or five people to stumble around and look for them. And I'm, we're not really stumbling. I mean, it's, it's a concerted trapping effort, but if average folks call it in, it is a huge help. All right, Sven, we want to thank you so much for being with us this morning, shedding some light on what our experts are dealing with and also what we may see in this upcoming documentary. I, I have the final question here. What does it feel like to be featured in this documentary that's now going to be shown all around the world? Um, actually, I think not so much me being in it, but to me what was really, really cool is I was watching a program with my wife on the regular Discovery and Ted McFall pops up on a commercial. And when you have met somebody and you see them popping up during primetime commercials, it's pretty, it's pretty trippy. <laughs> Well, Sven, we're looking forward to seeing this documentary and seeing all the hard work that you and so many other people have put into this effort. We appreciate it, and we appreciate you joining us this morning here on Up With Cram. Thank you very much. And, of course, you can watch Attack of the Murder Hornets right now on Discovery+. Plus.